I am Christine Grace Bonane, and for our today's trivia, we will be discussing about Pedro Paterno. But he is known as the greatest balimbing in the Philippine history. Pedro Paterno was a Filipino politician who has been called the greatest turncoat in the Philippine history. He was also a poet and a novelist. His intervention on behalf of the Spanish led to the signing of the Pact of the Biak de Bato on December 14, 1897, an account on which he published in 1910. Pedro Alejandro Paterno y de Pera Ignacio was born on the 17th of February, 1857. He was one of 13 children born to Don Maximo Paterno and his wife, Doña Carmen de Vera Ignacio. Maximo was exiled to Guam for 10 years following the 1872 Cavite mutiny and died on July 26, 1900s, leaving behind considerable wealth. At the trial of Jose Rizal in 1896, it was suggested that Paterno, along with Rizal, had incited the Katipunan because they had both written about pre-Spanish Philippine history. As evidence for their complicity, the Spanish prosecution cited Paterno's earlier work, The Antigua Civilization, as promoting ideas which had consequences both erroneous and injurious to Spanish sovereignty. In 1897, the Philippine Revolutionary Forces led by General Emilio Aguinaldo had been driven out of Cavite and retreated northwards from town to town until they finally settled in the village of Biak Nabato, in the town of San Miguel de Mayumo in Bulacan. Here, they established what became known as the Republic of Biak Nabato. In late July 1897, Paterno voluntarily presented himself to Governor General Fernando Primo de Rivera, whom he had known while living in Spain, and offered his services as mediator. Because many highly placed Spaniards of the time thought Paterno held great sway over the natives, Primo de Rivera accepted Paterno's offer where he called for a truce. Paterno returned to Manila on January 11, 1898 amidst great celebration, but was spurned by Primo de Rivera and other authorities when he asked to be recompensed by being granted a dukedom, a seat in the Spanish Senate, and payment for his services in Mexican dollars. Pedro was elected president of the Malolos Congress in September 1898. He served as Prime Minister of the First Philippine Republic in the middle of 1899 and served as head of the country's assembly and the cabinet. Pedro was captured by the Americans in April 1900s at Tontomok Minget. With the Philippine-American War after the signing of Treaty of Paris in 1898, 
He was among the most prominent Filipinos who joined the American side and advocated the incorporation of the Philippines into the United States. As the editor and proprietor of the newspaper La Patria, he supported American dominion and gratitude towards Spain, from whence the Filipinos derived their civilization. He died of cholera on April 26, 1911.